Hey guys, today for Half Pint, we are gonna make school lunches. Okay, kind of. I totally got this idea. I'm stealing it from Fun Cheaper Free. She makes these sandwiches and told us about it on Instagram, I think, and on her page. But what she does is she gets these Hawaiian rolls and she makes sandwiches ahead of time for school lunches and then you can actually put these in the freezer so you can make a whole bunch, bag them up, put them in the freezer so when the kids are getting ready for school, they can just grab a bag that has a sandwich that's already made for you. So, the school lunches in the morning are so easy and they've really, really loved having this all done for them. And so, sometimes we just get an assembly line and we just make a bunch of sandwiches so we don't have to worry about it later on. And it just makes one less thing to worry about in the morning getting ready for school. Now I did the math, if my kids got school lunch, the four that are in school, if they paid for school lunch, it would cost me $35 a week for school lunch. So it gets really expensive. How many times can you have school lunch? One time a week, they get to, we write down what the menu is, and they get to pick which meal they want that, that week. So they can see, and so it still gives them the school lunch if they want it, but it also makes it a little more cheap for us because it gets expensive. So what we're gonna do, I got these a double pack of these Hawaiian rolls at Costco. We're gonna break them all in half. That's something that Jane can do. Do you wanna break them in half? Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna get, this is my good scary knife, right? And I'm just gonna cut all of these in half. Keep them kind of attached so you can line them back up together. And something that Fun Cheaper Free says is that you do ham, cheese, and then ham so that the, ha the cheese is not touching the bread. And I know these are kind of small, but with all of the other things that my kids take for their school lunches, this ends up being kind of the perfect size for them. Because sometimes the sandwich, they never finish the sandwich and so it works out. But if you don't want to do Hawaiian rolls, Jane doesn't like these, she prefers regular breads. So we're gonna make some with regular bread too and then we can um, freeze those too. Or just, I keep a handful of them in the fridge and then when that's running low, I grab a few more from the freezer and put them in the fridge and then we're ready to go. Okay Jane, we're gonna cut this ham in half. Actually we're gonna cut it in quarters. Actually I should have cut it in thirds, but that's okay. Whoa all of that ham. Wow. Wow, and I'm gonna actually cut it again because these rolls are so small. So then we put a piece of ham on all of these. Actually, let's put two pieces of ham on the bottom and two pieces on the top. Can you do that? Yes, grab this pile. I'll start over here. We put two. This ham is really thin. If you got thicker ham, you could even just do one but since this is really thin, the ham is more filling, so they'll get fuller faster. So now when we've got ham on all of them, we're just gonna get our cheese. I've already sliced some. I'm gonna cut these in half, okay? Then we're just gonna put one piece of cheese on it, okay? One? Just one, and on one side only, okay? Okay, so they have snack bags that are long, that are rectangular. Um, Kirtland just started making square ones, and look how perfect that is. But I just noticed that was my last one. <laughs> but I like to use these for these sandwiches because it's the perfect size. And I do all of my little snack baggies, um, all my little snacks for my kids in these little size bags too. Now it's good to use Ziploc bags on these because it keeps it more airtight. So now we're just gonna use regular sandwich size bags to put them in. You could even put two in here if you think that your kids would eat two instead of one because these sandwich bags are bigger. Ham, cheese, ham. Remember the cheese does not touch the bread. And guys, that's all we do. And we make a whole bunch at a time. Then I don't have to worry about lunches. The kids are all ready to go and everybody's happy in the morning, less stressed. So the difference with this bread and the rolls is that we're not putting mayonnaise on it because it freezes a little weird, but my kids have realized that they don't really even need the mayonnaise or like the mayonnaise, so it's totally been fine. Let's put the ham on first, remember? So this time, I think one, let's do two on one side and one on the other side, how about that? Okay, you can start putting cheese on actually. 
Then we're just gonna bag these up now. And we have some regular sandwiches that Jane likes to eat. You can also go back to our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches um, and make those and freeze those. And have those ready for school lunches too. Those freeze really well. And they're delicious. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into my freeze fridge here. Is I have a bin for dairy stuff. So I have some string cheese and I have some yogurt. They get to pick one dairy thing to take for their school lunch. And then I have some packs of grapes and apples. So I sliced up these apples with our cool little apple slicer and then I put them in lemon water. So just a tablespoon of lemon juice with some water. And then I bagged them up. They can eat a full apple. This is just the perfect size snacks for them. So they can grab a bag of apples, a bag of grapes. I've got some sugar snap peas and I have some cooties. So we have other like, if they wanted a banana, they could pick a banana. We just don't keep those in the fridge. So the rule is they can take one dairy. They don't have to. Um, one dairy and then for sure one fruit or vegetable. We come over to our pantry and then we have two other bins. So I have a bin of some sweet things. So we've got some trail mix. You can do our snack mix thing that we have. Um, we have a granola bar. Sometimes I have some candy in there, or some bagged Oreos. Um, and then we have a salty thing. So we've got some potato chips right now that I bought in a big bag and I bagged my own because there's less in there, making it a little more healthy. Plus there's less waste and it's cheaper. And then I have some bags of pretzels. So this is always changing what we have so it's not so boring and repetitive for the kids for school. But they can pick um, a salty thing, a sweet thing, a dairy, and a fruit and vegetable, and then a sandwich. So that gets them pretty full and pretty ready. Good job, Jane, you did it. You did it. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> so guys, in a matter of minutes, we have sandwiches, we have our snacks, my kids are ready for a couple of weeks for their school lunches and it just makes the morning really easy. They just grab one of everything, some bins, grab a sandwich, bam, they're done. Right on, dude. No, me, huh? Huh? Give me five. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, make these, share it with your friends. Go subscribe to Fun, Cheap, or Free because she has a lot of great ideas. Bye-bye. We're totally ready. Don't I look ready? Okay. We're gonna make some with regular bread too. Bless you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah. Huh. Huh. Huh.